Good morning students. Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to the science class. Children, in our daily life, we do many kinds of work. For doing any kind of work, we need energy. In the first lesson, we have learned that we get energy from the food we eat. In this lesson, force, work and energy. Let us know about when is work said to be done. Is work done just by applying force? What is meant by force? Etc. Do you know children what is meant by force? Okay, let us know about force. See this image children. Here the boy is pushing the car. And see this image children. Here the boy is pushing a shopping cart. And see this one. What is the horse doing here? Yes, the horse is pulling the cart. See this one more image children. What are they playing here? Yes, they are playing tug of war game. To win the game tug of war, what we have to do? We have to pull the rope. And to move the swing, what we have to do? Yes, we have to push the swing. Most of our daily activities involve applying force by pushing or pulling. So a push or a pull of your body is called a force. Understood children? What is meant by force? A push or a pull of your body is called a force. By applying force, we can move things. We can stop a moving object. We can increase or decrease the speed of a moving object. We can change the direction of a moving object. And also, we can change the shape and size of the object. Okay, now let us know in detail about the results of application of force. First one is, force can move things. Children, force can make a stationary object move or make a moving object move faster. That means, we can move the object which is in rest and make the moving object to move more faster. For example, take a rubber ball and place it on a table top. Now gently push the ball along the surface of the table. The ball begins to move. Thus a ball which is in rest begins to move when your force is applied to it. One more example. The force of motor makes a fan to move which is in rest. And by applying a force, we can push a table to a desired place. And second application of force is, force can stop a moving object. That means any force applied for the right amount of time in the opposite direction of a moving body will bring it to rest. For example, while playing football, you can stop the moving ball by applying force with your foot. Take a rubber ball and place it on your table. 
push the rubber ball gently so that it starts moving. Place your palm in front of the moving ball. We will observe that moving ball comes to a stop. The palm held in the path of moving rubber ball applies a force to the moving ball. And a moving car stops when we press the brakes. We can stop the flowing of water in the river by building dams. And third one is force can increase or decrease the speed of a moving object. Here force can slow down the speed of the object or it can increase its speed. For example, if someone pushes the moving bicycle from behind, then the speed of the bicycle increases and it will move faster. And if someone pulls the moving bicycle from behind, then the speed of the bicycle decreases and it will move slower. A push or pull can change the speed of a moving bicycle. If the force is applied in the direction of motion of the object, its speed increases. And if the force is applied in the direction opposite to the direction of motion of an object, then its speed decreases. And the next one is, force can change the direction of a moving object. For example, in a cricket match, when a batsman hits a ball with a bat, the direction of the ball changes. Here, the force exerted by the bat changes the direction of the moving ball. Another example, an asteroid changes its direction after colliding with another asteroid. And one more example, in the game of carom, when we take a rebound, then the direction of striker changes because the edge of carom board exerts a force on the striker. And next application of force is, force can change the size and shape of an object. That means, when a force is applied on an object, it may change its shape or size by bonding, stretching or by compressing. For example, a potter makes the pots of different shapes with kneading wet clay by applying a force. And by squeezing a lemon, it changes its shape. And when we press an inflated balloon, it gets deflated. When we press the dough with a rolling pin, we apply force. A force can change a shape or size of an object. So, the action from a force can cause an object to move or speed up, to slow down, to stop or to change the direction or change the size and shape of the object. Understood children? What is meant by force and the different applications of force? Let us learn about different types of force. Okay, note down today's assignment. Define force. And list three things a force can do. Thank you.